This is Terrence Orange Banks with Information Age Financial Solutions coming to you from a fantastic article I read from you, Yahoo, 15 housing markets are turning ugly. As I mentioned in a couple other videos, we're reaching a market cycle and we're in an echo bubble, especially real estate, but doesn't mean that you should get out. You just have to be mindful of different areas that you're going to be flipping in or you're going to be in uh, to do anything for real estate deals. So I came across this article. I'm going to dive right in. 50 markets that are turning ugly. Of course, I'm going to put the link inside the description. The U.S. housing market has been strong and home prices have been rising steadily since 2012. However, signs of weakness have started appearing lately, including a slowdown in the pace at which home prices have been rising. That doesn't mean the housing market is headed for a crash, but some places could be more risk of a downturn than others. To identify those places, going bank rates evaluate five in the cities to identify which ones have high rates of foreclosures and underwater mortgages. Houses are worth less than what is old. Going bank rates also looked at changes in median how home listing prices, the number of days are on the market, and percentage of sales listings with price cuts, and compared those figures with national average to see which, which housing markets were lagging behind the nation as a whole. Florida has the highest number of cities with real estate markets that could be in trouble, followed by Illinois. Keep reading to see which cities in these and other states have housing markets that are turning ugly. Okay, they said, so we already know from the start here, Florida, and Illinois, if you're in those two states, be merely mindful because crash hasn't happened yet, but it's starting to get ugly as the, as the title of the Yahoo article indicated. So let's start off with here, 50, Fort Myers, Florida, the median list price is 249000 two price year, there's a change of negative 1.4%. Kind of leave that at your leisure to look at and take a look at them. I'm just going to kind of read down here as we go through each one of them. Housing prices are dropping in the city in southwest Florida, while Home prices nationwide have climbed on average 9.4% over the past two years. Prices have dropped 1.4% in Fort Myers over the same period. Plus, houses for sale spend 105 days on the market in Fort Myers on average compared with the national average of 66 days. Newport News, Virginia. I live in Virginia. Um, you got Newport News right here, not in that area, but a lot of people I know do deals out there. Uh, medium life price is 190000 percentage on the water mortgage in this city. In southwest in Virginia, near Virginia Beach, is more than double the national average of 8.2%. House of the real estate market higher hasn't turned too ugly yet. In fact, the percentage of listed home price cuts in Newport News is just 12%. 12.6% is lower than the national average of 17.5%. Coming, Georgia, median list price is $383,511. Home prices are still rising in this suburb of Atlanta, but not nearly as much as the national average. Uh... And 21.8% listed homes here seeing price cuts compared with the national average of 17.5%. Toledo, Ohio. I'm going to kind of just kind of skim through each one. Naperville, Illinois. Illinois. Sarasota, Florida. Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Menifee, California. Tuscaloosa, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Williamton, Delaware, which has reached number 41. Naples, Florida. I got to click on this link. The story continues. Let's keep going down. West Palm Beach, Florida. Waterbury, Connecticut. Now, Connecticut has a huge pension problem, so just be mindful of that. So I don't, it's not surprising me that this place is having trouble. Uh, the percentage of underwater houses here is higher than any other city on this list. Wow. Plainfield, Illinois, state that's really having some pension issues. Uh, Plainfield has the heck second highest percentage of listed homes with price cuts at 25.3%. <laughs> Bakersfield, California, one in every one foreclosures, one in every 1,095 homes. Jacksonville, Florida, one in every 814 homes. Orlando, Florida, one in every 1,328. Foreclosure rate in Orlando is also higher than the foreclosure rate nationwide. And this is interesting because Orlando has Walt Disney, you got uh, Universal Studios. You would think that it wouldn't be so high, but it's higher than foreclosure rate, foreclosure rate than nationwide. Interesting. McKinney, Texas has one of the highest percentage of listed homes with price cuts among the cities on the list. Wow. Somerville, South Carolina, Annapolis, Maryland, Stanford, Connecticut. Again, not surprised. Champion. Champaign, Illinois, Port St. Lucie, Florida, 
Bradenton, Florida, Ocala, Ocala Florida, Dayton, Ohio, huh. Lay Acres, Florida, Rockford, Illinois, anything Illinois in, in uh, Connecticut don't surprise me, Mobile, Alabama, Cape Coral, Florida, Fort Peace, Florida, Suffolk, Virginia, yeah. okay. The other problems of the real estate market is facing in this city, which is part of the Virginia Beach metro area, are the relative high percentage of underwater mortgages and high foreclosure rates. It's a high foreclosure rate in that area. Laurel, Maryland, and I wouldn't, su and I wouldn't suspect this one. Foreclosure, one in every 1,457 homes. Home prices have been falling in the city that's located between Baltimore and Washington, D.C. And the foreclosure rate is higher than the U.S. average. On top of that, nearly 30% of the mortgage on the water in Laurel. Joliet, Illinois. Valdosta. Valdosta. Valdosta, Georgia. I'm messing these uh, titles up. If you're in that area, please forgive me. I'm not trying to mess up your title to your city. I'm just not familiar with it. Decatur, Illinois. Uh, Elgin, Illinois. Riverview, Florida. Wow. Riverview, Florida is one in every 796 homes. That's pretty high. And nearly 20 percent home listing sale have had price cuts compared with 17.5 percent nationwide. Atlanta, one in every 1,942 homes foreclosures. Uh, plus, the foreclosure rate here is higher than the rate nationwide. <laughs> wow. That's so. These are the areas that are probably right now are going through their bubble season, and they they've been pushing the prices for so long, probably in these areas, which forced them to come down. Lawton, Oklahoma, home stay on the market on average 117, 117 days compared with the U.S. average of 66 days. Lawton has the highest, fourth highest percentage of underwater mortgages amongst cities on the list. Hampton, Virginia, so we're in the naval bases and stuff like that, and it's interesting. Um, percentage of underwater mortgages has here is double the percentage nationwide. Rural Illinois. Bridgeport, Connecticut, can not surprise anything with Connecticut. Norfolk, Virginia. I'm sorry, Norfolk is where the naval bases are at, not uh, Hampton. Again, surprising because you got a military bases over there. So it's is the high percentage underwater mortgage, which is more than double the percentage. <laughs> so these high percentage underwater, underwater mortgages. So the last bubble, they never really, when they say that the high percentage underwater mortgages, these are never <laughs> recovered from the last housing bubble. And they're now creating another one there. Miami Beach, Florida. Again, this was an epicenter of, uh, of the bubble the first time. We had the first crash. Plus, houses for sale spent more than days on the market, 225, than any other city on the list. Baltimore, we had a lot of issues, unfortunately, with Baltimore. Uh, we'll have the third percentage of underwater mortgage in this study. Uh, Columbus, Georgia, one in every 1,007. 172 homes in foreclosure. Florida is among the highest rates in the study. Portsmouth, Virginia. Hmm. This this port city in southwestern Virginia has the highest foreclosure rate of any city on this list. Portsmouth has also had the high percentage of underwater mortgages than most cities in our rankings. Wow. Lakewood, New Jersey. <laughs> and Piero, Illinois. Pure claims the number one spot among the cities with real estate markets that are turning ugly for several reasons. The city in central Illinois has the second biggest drop in home prices over the past two years of any city on the list. The average number of days houses are on the micro market and the percentage of homes for sale with price cuts are higher than the national averages. The percentage of underwater mortgages here is more than double the percentage nationwide and the foreclosure rate is among the highest on the list. Wow. Really skim through this article. Definitely worth your time. If you're in one of these areas and you're flipping houses or you you may be able to find a bargain once it collapses even further, but I wouldn't I wouldn't take my chances. Just be mindful in this area because there's always a deal to be found. I'm going to put the link inside the description, but these are the 50 housing markets that are turning ugly. Pay attention because we're, we're right at the peak and when it gets to these numbers like this and it starts showing on mainstream news, then it's definitely time to sit back and watch the fireworks, as they would say, and and people will get caught as history repeats itself. 
this video has been any value to you, please subscribe, leave some comments, hit the, hit the like button, and until my next video, I'm out.